Confirm the patient's identity. Explain the procedure to the patient and gain verbal consent. Review and confirm blood test orders. Check for any allergies, in particular allergies to tape, skin preparation and lignocaine. Where possible, ask the patient to clean their hand and arm with soap and water. Wash hands over 40 to 60 seconds. Wet your hands with the water and apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm, right palm over left, then with interlaced fingers and repeat on the other hand. On the backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of thumbs and repeat. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards on the palm. Finish by rubbing down both arms. Rinse your hands. and then dry thoroughly with a single-use towel. Clean the trolley. Beginning at the top of the trolley, cleaning from the inside to the outside. Continuing to the legs, and then finishing with the bottom. While waiting for the trolley to dry, start collecting the necessary equipment. Once the trolley is dry, place all the equipment on the trolley. You are now ready to enter the patient zone. Apply a palm full of product, rub your hands palm to palm and then interlacing your fingers. Rotational rubbing of thumbs and repeat on the other hand. Then rotational rubbing backwards and forwards on the palm. Finish by rubbing down both arms and allow to dry. Check the packaging for any damage and check the expiry date. Open the outer layer of the IV pack and sort the equipment onto the trolley. Retain the outer packaging with the insertion sticker and the patient information sheet. Place the bluey under the arm. Apply the tourniquet 5 to 7.5 centimetres below the antecubital fossa to select a suitable vein, ensuring that the tourniquet is not too tight. Once a vein has been selected, release the tourniquet. Perform hand hygiene. 
Open the inner IV pack to create an aseptic field. Consider allocating zones to this field based on the equipment you will place on the field. This may include a sterile zone and a clean zone. Prepare the sterile zone. Pour 1% lignocaine into the yellow dish. Open the 3 ml syringe. Open the 26 gauge needle. And open the drawing up needle. Open your cannula. your J-loop your 10ml pre-packaged flush and your sterile gloves now prepare your clean zone which includes your vacutainer and any blood tubes as required. Swap the areas you have selected for cannulation using an up, down and side to side pattern for at least 30 seconds and then allow to dry. Reapply the tourniquet and perform hand hygiene. Apply the sterile gloves and now prepare your equipment. Draw up the lignocaine and attach the needle. Prime with normal saline. Anchor the arm using your thumb, gently pull the skin over the vein. With the bevel facing upwards, insert the needle superficially into the skin and administer approximately 0.1 of a mil or until small bump appears. Release the skin and the area anaesthetised will now sit over the top of the vein. Insert the needle at an angle of 15 to 20 degrees depending on your assessment of vein location. Continue to insert the cannula in a downwards angle until you feel a loss of resistance and a flashback is seen. Reduce the angle of the cannula to the horizontal and advance the cannula a few millimetres forward. This ensures the cannula is in the middle of the vein. Pull back gently on the stylet for a few millimetres. 
you may also see a second flashback along the cannula. The sharp point of the stylet is now located within the plastic cannula and protected from further puncturing the wall of the vein. Advance the entire cannula along the vein until the hub is reached. Release the tourniquet. Occlude the vein, avoiding the insertion site, and attach the vacutainer. Attach the blood tubes as per order of draw until the required sample is collected. Remove the vacutainer and connect the J-loop. Flush the cannula to assess patency Clean up any spills. Apply the semi-permeal dressing and a fixed cannula to ensure it's safe and secure. Remove the bluey and the tourniquet. Remove your sterile gloves and dispose. Remove the packaging and retain your IV label. Place the label from the packaging on the PIVC insertion and management form. Complete the necessary details, noting the date, time and signature. And place on the cannula dressing. Complete the blood sample documentation and discuss and provide the patient with the patient education information sheet. Perform hand hygiene, clean the trolley and store away for next use.